Just, hey, Cy, si, when you want the belt, give me this and I'll do it for you. See if that it feels as good. No, Go ahead. Uh, try it. Try it. Cy, si, try it. No. Cy, si, try it. No. Cy. Si. No. Try it. No. <laughs> What's wrong with you? There He's is mad. Some, hey, there is something wrong with this picture right now. Cy, si, do like this. Okay, there is some unscrupulous... <laughs> Unscrupulous. Would, yeah, K would call it unscrupulous rascal has absconded with something that does not belong to him. Johnny but D. I don't know any names right now in the midst of it, but look. something is missing from this room that is very important. Look under Johnny D's beard. What are uh, you looking for? I, I legitimately, uh, I just had a meeting at the church. What goes with this right here? Uh, insert to a uh, uh, Conduct Commander Classic Duck Call. Yeah, no, PC oh, good answer. No. PC two hundred. This is used. That is to, a file, so it's used. I know, to, no, but it's uh, used. Elephant to, tusk. No, it's used. Horses' to hooves. Hit something. Well, and, you and keep hitting it, and you're turning hey, the TV off. Something is gone. Oh, it's you're missing. Oh, your bell's it, gone. Yeah. Praise God. Yes. I didn't take it. Bing. Hey, I sit. You're glad I. Hey, Bing. you better be glad I ain't. I ain't own this company. Because guess what? That you don't. Guess what? Come up, huh? Yeah, somebody would get fired for moving your bell. Yeah. What if it was probably just the cleaning people? Yep, that's it. Human resources. Well, they hey, they didn't move much. They didn't clean much. If it was cleaning people, they clean your bell out. They huh? clean the bell they, out. They clean my them, headphones with a vacuum cleaner one time. I told well, them there was I annoying know noise in here. An unscrupulous. Rascal. Oh, Silent okay. got on fire, boys. Now, and then he, did you learn a new word? Unscrupulous. I can't even spell that. Having Bing. or showing no moral principles. Unscrupulous. Right, that's it. Unscrupulous. Hey, right, there you go. Whoever. What, is, what do morals have to do with your bell? Thievery, I believe. He's mad about it. Look. Let's take a poll of the listeners. Do y'all like the bell Ooh. or do you not? We right. should put that on Instagram. No, let's take a poll and ask this question. <laughs> Do you think I really give a flip? Okay. Okay. So whoever I, I know need, that answer. I need to have something to release my frustrations on. Oh, frustrations. Frustration. Okay, and the bell was it. I got to be honest with you. Before he had the bell, it was me. That's right. It was J.D. <laughs> So, That's right. Well, run it right. back. I think, well, I'm trying to repent. I'm trying to do all right here, boy. Take I'm, that file I'm, and use I've it got issues that I've got to work file. out. I've been hanging out with Stone. I can right. punch people now. Uh -oh. There you go, go. Si. Look. Yeah. Uh, hey, look. No, I do cool. want to do a poll. Si. That's rough. Do one finger. Do they time, like si. the bell or not? Can we do that on our Instagram? Absolutely. So right. go to the duck call. What's our Instagram? Duck call room? With or without the bell. Duck call room, Instagram. Go to the stories. I'm, I'm making somebody do work if right now. If you vote without, I'll put you in a drawing for a free duck call. <laughs> and um, <laughs> anyway, no, I'm kidding. I'll send you <laughs> hey, something okay. else. And, and there will be a poll right. that says, should we give Cy his bell right. back? Or, yes or no? We'll let the people decide. And the next poll will be, do you think Cy gives a real? Well, well yes. that's it. Hey. So I said he's lucky that we don't that he don't run this company. He don't even work I, for this company. That is a good point because hey, it I wouldn't never, have made it this I've long. Never work for this company. So I ain't even on the payroll <laughs> anymore. Right. He's talking about want, good thing. I don't run right, this place. Right, right. Unbelievable. Did you? It's changed a lot, Martin. It has changed a lot. Uh, duck. Yeah, it's it a duck has. call room for the better. Well, I, I'm not sure about that. Oh. Huh? That's, that's debatable. You think it'd be better that's if you would have ran it? No, I'm no. <laughs> okay, trust me. No. I was like, let's I debate. Am not, no, I am not uh, business minded. No one I can be. I couldn't put up with the BS. Okay. Number two, he can't no even get his mouth closer to the microphone. Unscrupulous. Hey, I'm right on top of it for crying out loud. I, that, that's I keep the moving business, it. business Good, situation. Hey. He couldn't keep up with the business situation. Business boy. That no, business. Hey, business. Look, when you deal with the public, you deal with dealing, no, no. You're dealing. Let me finish. You're uh -huh. dealing with. I just got in trouble. Just way too many headaches. Okay. We do get some people. Because the human race is oh. one messed up. We're back on this. I don't even have a name for it. So I got that I, disgusted hey, look, look on his face. I, unfortunately, I'm I'm one of them. Okay. <laughs> That's the bad part. I belong to this society that I'm talking about. Johnny D's a little nervous today. <laughs> I'm super nervous. You look, need the bell. Look, I do want to take this moment, though. Some okay. some viewers from one of our podcasts pointed out that it was not Jace that called us the kids I podcast. So, Jace, 
I apologize. I'm a man. I can admit when I'm wrong. Sorry. I apologize. And I bet you I can guess who actually said it. Go for it. Go for it. Go, no. No, Phil uh, No, care. there's one in this family with the R, huh. the R, R, R family. The instigator? Yeah, he's the instigator. He has always been that in that position. Okay, and that would be Mr. Alan Robertson. That's what I heard. The preacher did it. Yeah, that's right. Now that story checks out. The preacher. Well, hey, it. Flip Wilson, you say the devil made him do it. <laughs> Flip Wilson. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what Al's going to say made him do it. Well, but he's the instigator. But I don't mind be calling the kids. Yeah. Okay. Once again, you've been fourteen. I've been fourteen now. for eighty exactly. years. The man who's no. known to the free world as Beardless Bro. He At grows beard. a beard every winter for some oh. reason. I don't really get and it. And it really don't fit him. Yeah, I, I agree. No, Al should well, he's never. Got a Al should never go. <laughs> Wait, what'd you just right. say? What'd oh. you say? Say it again. Say oh. it. All right, I'm not one to make fun of a man's wardrobe, but unless it's Al. It's that. Oh, okay. Because he's been wearing vests for like four years now. Yeah, I don't and get it, it. And then it may it don't make him look thin. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I'll have to hit bing, it. Like, hey, I'll bing. have to hit it like my wife told. Me. She hadn't seen Al for a while. I remember there's some meal and we were sitting down at the table. And, she said, Al. Oh, we went to Doe's Steakhouse. Yeah. She said, Al, I haven't seen you. She said, but boy, are you getting fat. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. And Al said, that. well, it's nothing like a uh, an aunt of mine just to tell it like it is, boy. <laughs> That's close. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> well, hey, hey, if the we've fits. never been, you know, uh, hmm? what's the word I'm looking for? Nice. No. Uh, <laughs> Smart. Uh, couth. No. Understandable. No. Patient. Uh, Polite. Okay. I can't. Yeah. Okay. Polite, <laughs> Dishonest. Polite is is part of it, but I no. Yeah. We always That's tell it. Fun we one. always tell it like it is. Um. No. Well, Al though, I'm jealous of Al, because Al fluctuates weight a little bit, like kind of like myself. Yeah. But when I gain weight, it is all in a in a pot belly pig type fashion. Hey, yeah. All you gotta do is neuter system. Al gets it up there in them jowls. Hey. Al gets, Al gets it up in there his in fingers, and his cheeks, <laughs> and his shoulders, uh-huh. and his toes. Oh, hey, and he do you know? It's, spread, it's like the somebody put a straw in him. And the, and the double chin. And he, and he tries to hide it with a vest Best. with vertical stripes. Yeah, Best. He's big in the vest. Because oh, horizontal right. stripes make you look broader. Somebody's oh, making a lot of money off of those get, vests. Are we going to get it when he sees this one? <laughs> oh, that's fine. I got good news. The only way he's going to find out is if our listeners tell him. Hey. It might take him a while. Let me tell you what Al did. Well, boys. here's what's weird. <laughs> Al, does, Al does fight dirty. Oh, what? Oh, he oh, fight no. dirty now. The dirtiest. He, hey, Al's like an elephant. Yeah. He's going to never forget, boys. So, He's going to yeah. get Johnny even. B, oh, let me tell you something what Al did. When he decided he was going to get thin, he... Which time? Oh, thank you, Martin. <laughs> oh. yeah. In the house of pains in Al's yard. They oh, live yeah. very yeah. close to each other. Adjacent to it. Never mind. So Al, Al gives away all of his clothes. He says, Phil, it's like pulling up on the shores and burning the boats. He said, I ain't ever going back. He ain't going back, boys. That's hey, why he got all them vests. Six months later, <laughs> I see him out. standing in line at a vest cell. He's like, <laughs> I said, what's up, Al? Phil, you know how it is. He actually looks good in a vest. That's <laughs> that's like okay. saying somebody looks good with a mustache. Well, that, no, like, that's I'm coming saying, from side though. Hey, he looks good in a vest. The only vest that should be worn are made of Kevlar. That's Vests true. are a trick play. Why are you going to wear a jacket with no sleeves? Either wear a shirt or wear a jacket. There's no reason to be confused. He likes a vest. vest he likes a vest. vest. But look at them jowls. Bing. He got them jowls. <laughs> and go back to the jowls. Go, go, go back. Go back. Go back. Look, there's a few people I don't make fun of. <laughs> Yeah, Al, and Al, Al's up on that list. Well, I'm just telling you. Problem okay. Al, Al will get hey, you. Al right. will fight dirty, and he's always got a microphone. Well, That's the problem with Al. Yeah, you got to watch out for <laughs> the preachers. That's the real. Well, look, I'm just telling you, okay? All this was is, hey, don't call us the boys. You know my favorite part with Al, though? <laughs> I didn't mind it, but y'all had, they did. Al will get you back, but here's what I'll he's say coming, about it. boys. But here's what I'll say about him. He gets as good as he gives. He that's will true. laugh. He will laugh about this and oh, have no. so much fun with it, oh, yeah. and that's why we can do it. And then he'll have a top ten list about why we're the oh, kids. Yeah. He's gonna go. He gonna go scrolling through my social. You want to talk about some jowls, son? <laughs> about eight years ago, 
<laughs> I look like I got stung in the face by some of Sia's famous yeah. bombo beads. Bombo. He'll probably oh, record yeah. me dying but, in the, the house bumble. of pain. But I'll wear it. So, you know what? I'm like, yeah, that's me. I don't deny it. So, anyway, let's take our first break. Thank Good. you, Al. For the, we love you, for Al. The first 10 minutes. Oh, I we can't wait. I hope he preaches you Sunday because this will get, right. him, get him like a. He ain't going to watch this like before Sunday. It's like tuning the engine and you're on in hitting it first time, just squealing the tires. All right, we'll let's be back right after up. this. You, y'all know it's absolutely no fun? What? Eating what Stone makes you eat whenever you're on Stone's diet plan. Ooh. It's hard to find. You, you want to know why? It's hard to find good meat. Stone is a meat man. You can't eat bread. You can't eat fun stuff. You can't eat cereal. You got to find good cuts of meat. Well, where you find it? You know where I found it, Martin. Mm-hmm. On your doorstep? <laughs> on my doorstep because our good friends over at moink.com have sent us plenty of meat and it's all mm. delicious last night i had bacon from moink Ooh. and i had breakfast sausage mixed with some eggs made a little bowl instead of a burrito because you know those are out that yeah. bacon is for real fire oh, yeah. hey and it's good you know what i like about their bacon what you get it free for a year don't you absolutely that's what tell us about, about it martin uh, oh well look Moink delivers grass-fed and grass-finished beef and lamb, pastured pork and chicken, and wild-caught Alaskan salmon direct to your door, helping family farms become financially independent outside of big agriculture. Their animals are raised outdoors. The fish swim wild in the ocean, and Moink meat is free of antibiotics, hormones, sugar, and all the other junk you find prepackaged in the meat aisle. Sign up at moinkbox.com slash duck to get a year of bacon for free that's the best deal i've ever and then pick what meats you want delivered with your first box change what you get each month cancel any time look if i if you're thinking about ordering this box you go to the website and look at it just let me go ahead and tell you get you some of them whole chickens because they's the biggest chickens you ever seen and they're fantastic them thighs on them are so good lord have mercy i I love it they're good the guarantee i love bacon you'll say Oink, oink, I'm just so happy I got moinked, and I know you will be too. Moink was founded by an eighth-generation farmer who was featured on Shark Tank. Host Kevin O'Leary said it's the best bacon he's ever tasted, and we all agree. And Jamie Siminoff, creator of the Ring Video Doorbell, invested in Moink. He's got a pretty strong track record of being all right. He's a pretty smart guy. Join the Moink movement today. Go to moinkbox.com slash duck Duck. right now, and listeners to this show get free bacon for a year. That's one year of the best bacon you'll ever taste. But for a limited time, spelled M-O-I-N-K box dot com slash duck. That's moinkbox dot com slash duck. And get yourself some fine break meats. <laughs> Boy, Al is going to take the gloves anyway, off what? on us. I'll so. say this, though. I'd rather look like Al in a vest than Jace when he shaved his face. Oh. Ooh, right? Uh, yeah. Hey, nobody Should we stop what, before? Straight out of Dallas Buyers Club? Oh, no. They don't even know who Jace is once he shaves. He I looked know. like he, he just got out of like a yeah. rehabilitation center. Yeah, it's bad. Does he not eat? <laughs> I don't. Uh, he does. He's very thin. Well, he probably ain't eating now because he done caught and kept all of Willie's crappies. So. <laughs> That's very true. They're he, hard to catch now. That's because they're not there. He caught them all. He caught them all. What do you think I caught them all? What about you, Phil? I'm going to send you a picture of Jace. Uh-oh. Oh, I was wondering what you were Uh-oh. doing over there. Yeah, he looking up I thought you might be working. Because Phil is the only one of us with a regular job doing great things. I Thank thought you. you might be on the on the job over there. But he's just sitting He's one of those people that had to deal with the public. Pub- I, I deal public. with the public some. Yeah. Yeah. I have to deal with the Duck Commander complaint box. Yeah. That's fine. Mm. You people are weird. I, everybody's got a right HR to a complaint. I don't know why people. Why do people complain? I don't. Because they're people. The I squeaky don't wheel gets What's the oil. That? That's right. When just I see something I don't like, I just get away from. Is it. Is that what that means? Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Yeah. Y'all said it last podcast, and I didn't get it. Yeah, squeak. squeak and I was going to look it up, but I forgot. You go grease him if the wheel ain't making no sound. You don't pay no attention to that's it. Right. He get to squeaking, you pay attention to it. Oh, so that's what annoying people get what they want. They don't necessarily they get well, attention. They get they hurt. They get yeah. attention. Yeah. yeah. They don't necessarily get what they want. They get hurt. But sometimes even negative attention is attention. Oh, no. As long There's as it's attention. No such thing as bad press, That's right? right. Bad, no bad press. Well, hey. Nah. Did you send me a picture? No, I'll send it to you later. <laughs> oh, hey. That's later. an off air one. I don't want to get in trouble with you. You don't want to get in trouble. Boy. Again. 
Let's see it. Show no. it to me. No. You ain't got to send no, it to me. No, he ain't doing it. Is he naked? No. I would hope not. I'm just making sure. That's my Burt Reynolds laugh. Why are you looking at me like that? Si, what's wrong with you? Si's missing something today. Uh, Is it up here? Seriously, though, what what did happen to? (laughs) I have no idea. (laughs) didn't hear it. I know. He ain't heard it. No, I ain't heard it. I can't hear enough with his ear muffs on. (laughs) Why? What did y'all talk about? (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Are you the culprit? I, I I blame the wrong one. Who did you blame? I, I blame Stone. No. He actually got up and said, I got to do something. And he come over here and I grabbed it and hit it. We're going, so we're, I thought it was Mr. Stone that it was the uh, unscrupulous wrestler. We're talking about limiting your bell strikes to five per show, Si. Well, we'll know once we get the Instagram poll back. My precious. Precious. What happened to the My yellow precious. bell? I, I wish I had a rotten tomato. The problem right is now. I'm surrounded by people that like to bang on hey, bells. I wish I had a rotten tomato right now. I'd throw it right at Martin. Yeah, I've seen you throw. And, I'm and hope he's, he's, getting <laughs> he's getting ready. He's getting mad. I feel like this could be a painful episode. <laughs> Boy, painful episode. I need a helmet. Do you need this no. bell? Is it that big of a security blanket? How many throw, times? throw it over here. Hey. <laughs> Throw it over here. The man I, has carried a cup then, around then for I 70 years. Here's what throw, it to, throw it to JD because it'll probably bust my glasses. Here's what I, I tell you. The right, I mean, the duck call, I'll thing. give it to you after the next break. Let me hold it. If you can contain yourself for the next four <laughs> minutes. No, because, look, you don't it. understand. I'm like, uh, who Please is it? Linus. Linus in the blanket. I need to hug my bell. <laughs> I thought that was your tea. No. Yeah, I thought that's what the tea glass was for. No. It's the bell? Hello, the my bell. little bell. I got to be honest, though. Look, I'm still having withdrawals. Christine threw my 12 bongo bells away. We do need this yeah. man to make this podcast. Hey. We need this man in tip-top shape. That's right. So if he needs the bell. Hey. But think about think about that bell like road rage. We're helping you beat it. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're so taking... I- so you don't want yeah. this. Hey, Linus's blanket, he's always got to have it. That bell's the same thing. It's a, uh, what, what, a what are we talking about? A confidence bill. got to be a mean. Can you, confidence Can you do me a favor? What? I give you the bell back if you get rid of the file. Ooh. Now, but that's it, a hey, good deal. But, hey, no, no. No, it's not because, hey, look, I've tried <laughs> all these things. The finger is too soft. It what? makes a little bean. What about the wood? Hey, the wood is too soft because it's dead. It, it don't. Uh, this has got a special ring to it, metal on metal. I'm trying to teach it's you true. a lesson in negotiation. You always you can use this negotiate silver from bullet. a position of power. Well, hey. I've got the bell. You could use. The do so you want the bell? Hey, so you're saying you're in power? <laughs> yeah. Do you want the bell? <laughs> he ain't gonna negotiate. I wish I had a rotten tomato. <laughs> I got a. And I could hit him right in the face. <laughs> Here's you a silver coin uh, to throw at him. So no. you feel that's fun, ain't it? No. But you didn't do it with a file. It's uh, respectful. It's just wasn't it. even look, painful to our ears. And you can't even hear it. Okay, if you've got this on. Okay. I can hear it. Hey, I'm like Al. I'm like Al. What? Hey, I'm like an elephant. I ain't going to forget how we'll get even. I'm like Al. <laughs> he said hey, now i got to just start my. I've got to reverse roles. I'm such a good, mild mannered person. Now I've got to go, like they said in the movies, Luke, come to the dark side. Well, if you don't do that, just go be on Unashamed. <laughs> yeah, that's the dark side. No, they I'm need kidding. a bell. Oh, I'm boy, Al's going to uh, get you. I you can't mean? wait for this. I'm kidding. Get him, Al. Sick him. I'm kidding. But look, <laughs> I will say, it. if you're on there next time, you yeah. need to take the bell with you. Oh, no, just, no. Just I've never been invited to No, my brother would actually grab me by the scuff of the neck yeah. and boost yeah. me out to the oh, lair. Oh, PR? Yeah, there's yeah, a few PR people that don't out. stand for bells. Yeah, he don't stand for bells. He's no nonsense. Well, every time you hit it, you need to just go ding. <sighs> no. I would like to see Cy with that bell on Phil's podcast. It was driving me huh. crazy. Y'all have never been on Phil's podcast. Y'all have never been on Unashamed. Yeah, no, we don't get Absolutely not. Al was on ours, though, whenever we were sick. Yeah. Stone went That over. was a good episode. Stone's been, Stone's there. been there. Stone's been there. been there. Yeah. So it's just us three yeah. that they're not. Oh, yeah, we got weeded. We hey, are the kids hey, podcast. Y'all, don't, y'all didn't make the cut. Yeah, we got weeded out. <laughs> okay. I'm used y'all to Y'all don't it. make the cut. Yeah, you don't even get to hunt with them. Not allowed. I'm just not invited most days. He done the unmistakable thing. I've seen you hit it, but I didn't hear it. 
I'm probably going to say no. Are, do you have, like, high-frequency hearing loss or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. because the shotgun. Well, no I mean, wonder you hit it so dead gum hard because well, no, you no. ain't hearing it anyway. No, no, yeah, I do. But I, it's muffled bad with these, okay? It's cause he That's why every once in a while I had to take it off and just hit it about three or four times just to see the sound. Just to make check, sure it's tuned hey, up. Well, no, no, He's just to check the tone. his own world. Just, just to uh, check the tone. Just so he can well, feel Well, you got to understand, if you're in a M60 tank, and then some idiot comes up there with a two-pound sledgehammer and starts banging on it when you're inside it. Ooh. Did this that is, happen? This is solid. Oh, yeah. yeah. Often? Oh, yeah. Yeah, about every day. Why? Because he could. Hold on. You were in a tank? Yeah. I oh. thought you were just a supply runner. Well, at one time, I run a service section, and we welded when, when I was on Fort Knox, Kentucky, where they keep all the gold, supposedly. Okay. You were there? Yeah. I was stationed there. And we actually was welding tanks and then loading them on flat cars on the railroad then shipping them out. Really? But before we done it, we'd Not always race that. them. You would race the tanks? Oh, yeah. Tanks and M113 personnel carriers. How am I just now hearing this story? Well, you oh, no, race look. tanks? And, hey, yeah, and the general caught us. Okay. Unbeknownst to us, it's, you know, these things have got rubber pads on their tracks. Wait, you've raced this thing? Oh, yeah. M113? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we lined up and had a okay. guy out there with a flag. Size and the coolest person I know, and I've always no, known no, that. Look. Oh, this one here, this one here is good because hey, hold on, hand it the microphone. It would actually, okay, when you was riving it up before you let. I'm pulling up a photo. Flag, hey, this Martin. thing, this thing would try to stand up like a cobra. You raced that thing. Oh yeah, look and then look when you was riving it up, it would stand up like a cobra, and then when the guy dropped the flag, it would. Well, look. The general's flying over our parking lot. This is a concrete parking lot where all these things are parked. <laughs> Huge, okay? Well, they're just like in uh, airports for the jets come in and land. And the first, when the wheels hit, they leave a, a black mark. Uh -huh. This is fascinating. Well, when you spin them tracks, they leave black marks. You are bad. peeling out in tanks? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know a tank could leave a skid mark. Oh, that's well, awesome. Out. Hey, them things, hey, that, that, them things are powerful. How fast would that go? <laughs> huh? Well, the M1 Abram runs, I think, what, 70 or maybe even 80. What? And that, look, that's combat loaded, okay, because the M1 Abram combat loaded weighs 60 tons. M1 Abram? That's fantastic. And runs 70 miles an hour. Uh, now, that's look, a tank. Now look. And, and they can hit whatever they're aiming at running 70. Now, look, here's the deal. If yeah. I'd have known this was the kind of stories we was going to get without the bell, yeah. I'd have taken that thing long ago. <laughs> Did you have you a bell? You ain't ever getting it I've back. Never heard Did that. you have a bell in the tank? There's You were racing that guy? Uh, yeah. And this guy? No, we had tanks. Tanks and then. Side by side. Three. The person, you know, two tanks lined up, got a guy in the middle with a flag. With the same tank. Yeah. That is the coolest yeah, hey, thing I've we, ever heard. We just, it got it just. Might near red line, okay? It's whoa, and it's, and you were the driver? Oh uh, yeah. And See, it, he, it all makes sense he now. The flag. So anyway, the general happened to fly over. Because yeah. look, we're working, we're working seven days a week, eighteen hours a day, because we got to get all these things fixed. And napping two of those though, napping two. Okay, yeah. So we're working eighteen hours a day, seven days a week. So we needed a little. Uh, you needed some fun. R&R. &R. Well, yeah, R&R. &R. He needed a release. And un un unbeknown to us, he found around checking out his, his, you know, fort. That's fantastic. Okay, and he called us. Wait. So, so what the, happened the, to y'all? The story uh, is you We got a tank. good butt chewing. So like, hey, don't be racing the equipment. And this okay? was at Fort Knox. Yeah, Fort Knox, Kentucky. Yeah. So I, well, the goal is kept, this supposedly. This is fantastic. <laughs> Let me tell you why this is making sense to me. I never heard that well, story. But now I know why. Uh, when he got in that monster truck, he just floored it. Well, there was hey, nothing to meow. it. Well, no, no, you gotta understand, okay? If if you get into something that's got like you know, a while ago when he said he had the power because he's got my bell. Okay, yeah, I heard it that time. See, okay, I actually, okay, yeah. Right. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I, I did my heart. <laughs> <laughs> he, he loves the bell. <laughs> Get that, his bell that, back. Hey, that was We're my, the next that segment. That was my good if I could have caressed it a little bit with my hands. Okay? Uh, no, you get it. Oh. <laughs> uh, here you go. Here you go. He's.
It's my turn. Don't make me hit you. Welcome right, send back. Us, send us out with a bell, Si. Right. Is this? One, <laughs> one two, three. Oh, we'll be back right after boy. this. Martin, you know what I did on my walk this morning? What'd you do? I looked over at Jace's yard, and I thought, I bet he's got silver and gold all buried down there with his metal detecting stuff. And I think we should get a metal detector and go see if we can get a silver. Why would you do that? Because I want silver. It's a good investment. If you got silver in your yard. Well, I mean, why don't you just go to SD Bullion? You ain't got to go digging his up. You can get some of your own. What's SD Bullion? What? You don't know? Tell me about it. It's the one place we trust to buy our gold and silver. That's SD Bullion. Founded by two Christians, SD Bullion offers some of the lowest prices on gold and silver. They've assisted over 200,000 customers with more than $2 billion in transactions. And SD Bullion has earned an A-plus better business rating since 2012. I mean, what else do you need? And look at all the cool stuff they make. They make, like, a silver shotgun shell. Basically, if you have a hobby or interest or passion, they make a memento to commemorate it. You can use your IRA to invest in gold and silver. Your financial advisor probably hadn't told you that because they don't make any money off the transactions because it's a Mm one-time deal. So... You know, in a world with the economy doing what it's doing, it is nice to know that there are other options out there, such as precious metals, gold and silver. You know, the stuff's being used. It's been used for money for thousands of years. Fine so, silver. I mean, in an industry full of snake oil salesmen, it's honestly refreshing to work with a company built on faith-based values with low transparent pricing. If you want to learn more about protecting your assets with gold and silver, can contact our friends at SD Bullion. They have a special discount for Duck Call Room fans. Just text the word DUCK, D-U-C-K, to 465-322 to get a free guide to buying gold and silver, and you get $5 off your first order. That's the word DUCK to 465-322, DUCK to 465-322. Oh, I got to go. Are we on break? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 we're no, not. No, we're, no, hey, okay. and we're back early. Okay. Okay. Everybody, we never like stop recording. But anyway, I may have told this before. Probably. I was working, and, and look, I'm going to work, okay, and I get behind a man that's got a brand new 1969 puke green Dodge Charger. And I, you're in a tank? No. Johnny no. D. I'm in Daddy's car, Plymouth. No, I know this one. Johnny, okay. pull but the, this pull, one's good. I don't think pull anyway. that car up. Right. No, no. But what, anyway, what was the car? What was the car? 1969 puke green. Dodge Charger. Dodge Charger. Then the other boy on the other side of the road was driving a brand new 1969 Ugh. new 88 Oldsmobile. Brand spanking new. So they're running. Okay. Like the I'm behind them. I'm in, I'm behind them in Daddy's car driving ninety. What are you driving? The station wagon? A Plymouth. No. Plymouth. The Plymouth. Falcon. No. Plymouth. You're the Plymouth. Just the Plymouth. I don't know <laughs> Is why. that one of them? Side. That's them. Okay. But look. Anyway, <laughs> this boy had sent that car to California. Okay, and was without it for six months. So whatever you can do to a car. Has been done to the one he was driving. For so look, I'm behind six them. Months. Where where were you? Vivian? In, uh, no. Oh, uh, God. Bozier. Oh. Uh, Shreveport. No. Arkansas. Texas. Right this side of the Arkansas line. What's that little? Junction City? No. Bernice? Bernice. Anyway, somewhere yeah, up there. Okay. I got you. Oh. So, on 167. I was working in the particle board factory. I got okay. you. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to work. I'm behind these two clowns. Right? They're racing. Okay. I'm running 90. They're doing 100. And the guy in the green tar- charger does this. He like waved that. to you? He's yeah. waving? No, no. He's waving to the guy in the old mobile 88 going 100 miles an hour now. You're going 100? No, no. I'm he doing 90. 90. I'm behind, behind him. him. And look, he done this to that guy and stomped it. And I hear, you know, and I'm saying, no, 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 no. This can't be happening. He barked them. Wait, wait. Gear. What did you hear? I heard. Ooh. So I said, this can't be happening. They're running 100 miles an hour. So they go on down ahead of me, disappear, you know, and I come driving in the parking lot and get out, and they walk in the end. We walk in together, and I said, uh, hold on, got a question to ask you. And he's what? I right. said, when you waved it, what's your name there, and stomped it, I, I thought I heard burnt rubber. And he said, you did. And I said, wait a minute, you can't. 
burnt, burn rubber at 100 miles an hour. There's no way. And he said, well, here's what you do when you get off tonight, you know, or, you know, today, and go back, you know, stop and look at it. He said, it'll probably be about all 12 to 18 inches strip on each side of the highway. So, look, I get off, and I do. It took me about three stops to find the exact spot. So I walk out there the first time. Nope, that ain't it. A little further up. Nope, that ain't it. A little further up. Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> now, I'm looking at two strips of burnt rubber about 18 inches long. And I'm saying, wait a minute, there's no way you can spin tires going 100 miles an hour. No way. Can you, Johnny D? Um, if you're well, Bo or I don't Luke think Duke, you, I don't think you can, but I'm looking at the evidence, okay? And the guy said, well, look, he had two stainless steel posts about all oh, two inches in diameter sticking through his hood. Okay, and he had what I call railroad locks, okay, and they were an inch big around through them stainless steel poles. And the only thing he ever done, he would race anybody driving anything for pink slips. Yeah. This, title, title for title. This title. happened. This uh, Title for title. And look, in every other week or so, he comes walking in and puts it on the bulletin board. Hey, I got a brand new Porsche out here to sell, and it's like... Fifteen thousand dollars off of the factory price. Side on run across. This whole story happened in Hazard County, Georgia. Oh. It ain't nothing finer than driving a brand new car that's got is a hot rod. Now you pull up to the red light and there's eight batteries in the car sitting yeah. beside you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know it's on. That's right. You don't even. You can't even. You're hear walking it. down the sidewalk. Yeah, and you just can't take it out because yeah. you didn't hear it coming. That's exactly if you hear right. Something, if you More hear something animals squeal, have been hit by those if you silent hit cars. Squeal, it means the battery's gone dead or something. Yeah. Because <laughs> you couldn't hear it. Muscle coming. cars, boys. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. those better. So Cy's wife tells me that Cy had a car. This is a story that Christine tells. She said they never passed a gas station. They had to stop every time. I said, it, it got that bad gas mileage? She said, no, nope. he had to stop for oil. <laughs> no, no, look. He had to stop for oil and to take a look. No, 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 no. Look, I'd pull in, <laughs> okay? an excuse. And, and this was when we got married in Massachusetts, and I'm heading home to Louisiana. Yeah, newly, newly wed. You know, and I'm driving at Plymouth Fury. Okay. No, that's why they stop canary, at every... Canary yellow. Okay, so I pull in, and it's wintertime. Just think a sign you know, a canary yellow car. Oh, no, <laughs> I want to see it, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, no, it was, it, a fine, it was a fine-looking car. Plymouth Fury. But anyway, I pulled in the uh, gas station. The guy, this was one of them good gas stations. So they call my, it the greatest May I help generation. you, sir? And I said, yeah. I said, uh, what's the thickest... Uh, motor oil. Uh, motor oil you got. And he said, well, we got this here, yo, 40 weight. I said, no. I said, I looked over, I seen STP. Well, you drove that? No, mine was better looking than that. How is it better looking than that? Oh, no. Hey, no, no, mine was slicker and finer looking than that. But it had them big fins on the back? Oh, no, that that thing on on the side, that wasn't on mine. Oh. That yeah. thing's cool as crap. No, it ain't. That, that mine looked twice as Get good us as another that. one, Jay. Google yourself oh, hey. Plymouth Fury Yellow. But anyway, they had some STP, and this is like glue. So it's like Phil's coffee. Yeah. Yeah. So look, yo, I said, uh, how much this uh, 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 can? It's like this and about that big rent. There's Cy on the ad right there. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Hey, That's Cy Christine. And Christine and right I don't there. remember what he said. I think like three dollars. I said, well, I may just throw it away. I'll, I'll, I'll pay for it. So I just popped that like that and done it like this. Look like honey. Well, yeah, and, and it just <laughs> molasses it, it, in the winter time. Uh, it's just a glob hanging out the end of it. I said, <laughs> give me five of them, and then a quart of wall. <laughs> and the guy said, what are you doing? I said. Iron cork <laughs> said that right. Yo, it took us thirty minutes to put it in. Yo, it was in a quarter wall, and I checked it on. Yeah, it's good. Hey, that way, I hey, I run about four hundred miles on that little deal. Yo, Lord, I have mercy. Look, this thing. <laughs> Did, never, did, never had an oil change. It burned it too much. You know the, the uh, uh, on the distributor. Yeah. It's got a little cam thing that hits, and it's it's like a hexagon. Yeah. To make it open, open and close the points. Yeah. Well, that burned off. So my points. He gone. No, no, yeah. My, my points never opened and closed. <laughs> They's always <laughs> open. No, no, look. And that sucker would squall the tires off of it. I'm talking about that thing would run. 
Oh. <laughs> that was back in the good old days. Boy. And your truck is like that now. Hey, that's it, yep. boy. That baby With a little run. Camel, baby oh, run oh, too, like got, a scalded ape. Hey, Amen. Truck, well, let's take another break. We'll be back right <laughs> Like a this. silverback gorilla. Look, here's what I know. What do you know? What before this episode airs, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go home and get on Policy Genius and make sure that my home insurance is up to snuff because <laughs> I'm afraid Al may come burn my house down. That's it. Hey, that's he ain't like, happy with us. That's he a possibility. Dirty. That's a possibility. So he drives past my cars every day. I should probably get better insurance. And on he those slows things. down You're when right. he looks under. You're right. He may he may clip you on the way back home. He's probably who took out my mailbox. He could be. He may be the one that put that shoveler in the mailbox that time. <laughs> the instigator. That your there wife got one. so upset about. There was a dead animal. But you know what's scarier than getting a box of raisins while trick-or-treating? Paying too much for your home and auto insurance. But Policy Genius can help you avoid that. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place. They can help you find home and auto coverage similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. They've saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. They've saved new customers an average of $435 per year on auto insurance, and they've saved new customers an average of $350 per year on home insurance. Their team will handle all the paperwork to set up your new policy or switch over your current one. Getting started is easy. First, head to policygenius.com slash sci and answer a few questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius takes it from there. They'll compare rates from America's top insurers from Progressive to Allstate to find the lowest quotes out there. The Policy Genius team can look for ways to save you more, including bundling your home and auto policies. If they find a better rate than what you're paying now, they'll switch you over for free. Their Ooh. top-notch service has earned Policy Genius thousands of five-star reviews across Trustpilot and Google. Head to policygenius.com slash side to get started right now. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Amen. Believe We're back. People. Oh, are we? Welcome yeah. back. We're, We're back. Welcome yeah. back to the duck call room. What's going on? Good in- news. What? Good news. I don't have good any good news. news. Nobody's sending any in. What? Um, but my friend, let me click here and then click here and then oh. click this. Right, click this. My boy. friend uh, Lloyd, two Christmas? L's, no regular <laughs> Lloyd. Oh. Has he said? Here's something fun to discuss on the podcast. Oh boy! Spider goats. That like a spider monkey, or spider goats? Pull it up, JD. You'd have to show me a picture of a spider. Uh, goat. It looks like a regular goat. Well, why do they call it a spider goat? Because they bred it with spider DNA, like Spider Man, but a goat. See, it's just a goat, but when they milk it. Spider webs come out. Ooh. No. Or something to that effect. Well, hey, time out. What website is no. that on? This, this is. No, no, no. Inquirer.com. BBC, The Guardian, and Fizz.org, which I think is physics. Mm. I think you found that on Twilight, though. Scientists <laughs> breed goats that, that produce spider silk. That's the word. Fizz.org. That's, that's science. That's so weird that this is because, hey. The other day when we was in the duck blind, and we you, was talking about spider and their ability to shoot silk out their rear end. Well, now... And it's one of the strongest things. Yeah. So now these people have altered a goat's DNA to so make they can produce spider. the silk because it's one of the strongest things. Yeah. So now you can milk a goat and get that spiderweb stuff. Yeah. Sorry, si, si, what comes out your rear end? No, no, that is so strange. Really. Horse it shoes. Hey, it waste. ain't silk. Hey, body waste is what comes out. Okay, what? his rear end. Oh, yeah. what if well, I, I mil- what if I milked you? No. Horse huh? shoes, si. Horse no. shoes. Do you have nipples? No. I can milk Man, you. What? No, okay. No. So where I don't produce milk. Okay? Where are you going Wrong with this? Wrong species. Okay, you got to go to I the female know. side of the house for the milk. Okay. I don't know that I feel comfortable with spider goats. It creeps me out. I, mean, I don't either. I mean, because next like thing you know, hey, they'll I be mean, bouncing off the walls in New York City 
Swing, I it, mean, through the, swing it through the hood, boy. Spider Man. Just, t- just time out. <laughs> yeah, we we need to let Martin. Martin knows biology more than anyone in this no, room. No, I, I'm going to talk that, about I mean, human nature here for all a second. Right, all right. We got diseases running rampant around this world. Yep. They're not just the those. not just that nasty C word we're all familiar with. Yeah. But there's another nasty C word, cancer. Yep. There, I mean, there's all kinds of things. Yep. Medical. And we got some hands up in Wyoming. <laughs> How'd you know some Wyoming? hands. I saw it. I read it there on the yeah, TV. Yeah, in Wyoming. On the picture. And we University got some, of Wyoming. Look, and I love the state of Wyoming. It's great Go state. there every year. Yeah, he hunts. Fantastic. Up love the place. Love the people. Why in the world are we using goats to produce spider silk? Because the spiders aren't big enough. And? We need more of the silk. For what? Fun. I mean, they need to come to a pit blind in Louisiana in late January when it warms up that week and watch all the baby spiders floating on the breeze starting their own life. There's plenty of it floating around there. Well, maybe they... uh... Well, I mean, keep, this is for real, for real? They keep making Spider-Man movies. Maybe they're running it. out of this stuff. I mean, this is for real, for real. They are. No, I do. Because we're According talk, to Lloyd. We was talking about it in the duck line series, okay? Well, I know it's strong. Yeah. I'm not doubting that. Yeah. I've walked face first into a many yeah. of them. Oh, I right. know how strong that mess is. Yeah. And then you start that shuffle. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, yeah. Where is yeah. he? Yeah. Where yeah. is so, he? Where yeah. is he? You know? Yeah, I done got in now. Right. Where, where's the spider? Yeah. You, you're yeah. looking for that eight-legged rascal. And you can't, but you can't. You can't farm spiders. They're too cannibalistic. That's a quote from the doctor. Yeah. Oh, they are. What are uh, the trouble but, is you can't well, I'm like farm Martin spiders. on that. Okay, I know what they're doing. The research is being done. Is it just to prove that it can be done? But the goat's name is Freckles. Freckles. Well, if Freckles starts shooting that stuff out of its mouth and jumping from building to building, we in trouble. We in serious Hey, because everybody knows a goat will eat anything. That's true. That's true. Can, That's true. Can, the killer well, goats. Yeah. Be, yeah, yeah. They'll be putting their webs up, catching stuff uh, and eating. So there's it. a spy, there is a goat. That, spider goat. That you milk him and it actually gets a spider goat. web out of out of his nipples. <laughs> well, hey, I'm just trying I to think uh, on him. Please cut I, that out and put that on Instagram. I think on him they're called teats. But teats. Well, I think on her. Well, well nipples, teats. teats. Okay. True. There's no reason to grow cotton anymore. Nah, bulletproof. Vest. Everything will be silk. Spider silk from goats. Spider silk. From I don't goats. think it's. I, I, there's. We got to draw a line somewhere. Things that make you go. Hmm. Hmm. That's the news I got from Lloyd. That's the news you got from in Lloyd. The hello Lloyd. at Duck Call Room. Okay. Email inbox. Well, you heard you, it Lloyd. here. You but heard the problem it here. With this one, I got way more questions than I got I answers. Got, I mean, way there more. You go. University of Wyoming. Let's talk. Yeah. Holler at Hey, yeah, come yeah. on down. Holler at your yeah. boy. Bring right. your spider goat, too. Holler at your boy. I actually own a University of Wyoming hoodie. Oh, Do you? Yeah, yeah. Hoodie, I bought it in the airport. Yeah. It was awesome. There you go. go Cowboys. When I was up there, yeah, they're the Cowboys. They're brown and yellow. I guessed. Yeah, no, they really are the Cowboys. Nailed so, I knew Kill a fella. That's where your boy came from, right? Who? Isn't that where uh, Josh Allen's from? Wasn't he Wyoming? Josh Allen? For the Bills? Yeah, I think Didn't he's, he come he's from? He's old Wyoming grad. I wonder if he's ever seen a spider goat. I wonder if he's financing it. Lord knows he makes enough money now. He makes right. good right. cash. Yeah, he's from but the University of Wyoming. That's what I thought. Yeah, they the Cowboys. <laughs> so I had a little baby tap on the spider goat. <laughs> that means move along. Yeah, I think, that, I think it's time for a break. I think it's time for a break. But while normal I still, emails. While I still ponder, what in the heck <laughs> is the ponder. purpose of a spider goat? Right, it's we'll be a spider back. goat and spider goat and it does no. whatever the spider goat does. Hey! So me and Cy went to Alaska, and we met Franklin Graham and those guys with Samaritan Purse, and we got to see some of the good works that, that they were doing, and I was really impressed. What about you, Cy? Yep, they first-class operation. First-class people running the operation, too. First-class all the way around. Is, Absolutely. Yeah, it is. Samaritan's they Purse. They help out our veterans, okay? They help out uh, kids that need uh, life-saving surgery, okay? So, but they go worldwide, okay? They are the hands and feet of Jesus doing good for the fellow human beings. Si, you got a little emotional when um when we were out there when when the uh when the military guys and their wives Oh, I actually I actually came broke, back in. broke down and cried like a little baby. 
Just, it was very, very moving because I'd never really thought about it that the guys that our vets that got wounded in combat, they didn't come home to a welcome home party, so to speak. They actually went to a hospital to recuperate from their wounds. Yeah. So when I seen the plane coming in, it was a whole bunch of us there with flags, the American flag, you know, and welcoming them home, you know, it was it was very emotional. No, that's pretty awesome. And even right now, now Samaritan's yeah. Purse is still at work in South Louisiana helping yep, the folks the, uh, recover the, from Hurricane yep. Ida. You know, one example of that, when Hurricane Ida rapidly intensified into a Cat 4 storm, Heather and Jason Harper evacuated their family of five from a manufactured home in Shriver, Louisiana. In the aftermath of the storm, Samaritan's Purse was there clearing down trees, checking on their roof and making sure they had clean water. Now, after seeing that, Heather and Jason are volunteering their time and efforts with Samaritan's Purse and paying it forward, helping their neighbors pay for gas, run generators, and clear debris. So if that doesn't tell you what kind of organization they are, that they saw what they did and they said, well, we got to get in on that, you know, so that, you know, we've seen it right here in North Louisiana. They've been all over the, all over the country, all over the world. They were in California during the fire this summer. They were in middle Tennessee when they had that huge flood here a few weeks back. So Samaritan's Purse is a Christian international relief organization that helps hurting people around the world in their time of crisis. And they do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. For over 50 years, Samaritan's Purse has been helping victims of poverty, war, famine, persecution, and natural disasters here in the U.S. and around the world. They showed the love of Christ while sharing the gospel and being the hands and feet of Jesus. Here's what we need you to do. Go to SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to find out how you can get involved with this ministry. There are great testimonies of what God is doing and opportunities to get involved. Again, that's SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to learn more. Or click the link in the show notes, samaritanspurse.org slash duck. <laughs> ah. hey. hey! Welcome hey. back to the fan section. Hello at duckcallroom.com uh, is the inbox. Box, Johnny D, what you got up in there? I kid you not, I got these two emails within... One was at 8.39 this morning, and one was at 11 o'clock. So within two hours of each as other. As long as it ain't got nothing to do with spiders or goats. That's right. Mm, true. That's right. Mm, Uh-oh. No spiders. Thank you. Okay, goats are, goats are back. Goats, goats are, are not back, oh. but close to spiders. My man here uh, was cleaning up from Hurricane Ida. Jeremy sent this in. Oh, where is no. he from? Show it to us. Hold on. Oh, no. I'm trying to see where he's yeah, from. No, Last Sunday, really they're answer. they're trimming up trees, mm. and they found the yellow jackets. Ooh. He's running Hated. around, taking off all of his clothes, yep. trying to get them out. Because uh, we've told the story. Been there. Ooh. And he ended up in the ER. I ain't been there. Yep. They will Hold on. The it's there he is. Grief. There's my man in yep. the ER. Is he swole will. like Al? Nope. He's not swole like Al. But he broke his wrist and shattered his elbow. Ooh, from running? From ru- he fell. He's not very athletic. While running. Whoa. So there's one story I got from a fan. So, buddy, we're hoping you get better. And then Chevy from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chevy? Sent me one. Of her, her husband's trimming trees in the tractor bucket. They got the bucket up high. Oh, this is nope. not good. Nope. Oh, this is not good. And uh, he <clears> found... Let's see. I want to get the species right. Hornet, uh, as I would, so I would call it, bombo bees. Oh. oh, well, later it says hornets. Oh, hornet, uh, hornet, and yeah. hey, they're worse than bumblebees. Um, the so hornets ain't got no quid in them. His no, way no. of getting out of the hornet's nest: jump, jump. Good yep. grief! And, well, and he jumped down. She didn't say what his name. What was. did he broke? What did he break? Uh, his Definitely elbow. His elbow. Mm. He ended up in the hospital for three days and has two pins in his arms and quite a few hornet stings. So well, be know. careful with the stinging yeah. creatures, people. I just know here's one thing, one of them do not do things. Do not shoot a hornet nest with a twenty two bullet. Unless you're in a vehicle with windows. Because if you do, guess what's going to happen when you say, You're going to get popped. That bullet hits that well, hornet's nest. They follow the sonic boom back to where it came from. So if you're looking down the rifle, guess what? They're coming after you? Bow! 
By the time you well, pull the trigger, you get no pop. Be careful trimming trees, they whether on your land you. or hurricane cleanup. Of course, I don't And think. we'll be praying for our friends here that ended yeah. up in the ER. Trimming the trees ER. and a tractor bucket, I don't think that's OSHA uh, approved anyway. Uh, mm-hmm. so, yeah. I might have read that wrong, though. Was he in the bucket? Yeah, it says that. Yeah. It, but it might have been like a bucket. No, that, a, look, hey. Let me tell you something. I've spent a many an hour in the bucket of a tractor with it lifted all the way oh, yeah. up, yep. cutting limbs yep. and yep. everything else from making do, picking fruit, picking fruit. Hey, you name I, it. I was mowing. I was mowing, and hornets got after me. Mm-mm. I just jumped off of the mower and ran inside as fast as I could, and the the mower just kept going until it finally stopped in the woods. But they popped me about twelve times. Uh, oh, Big Phil was moving. <laughs> Big Phil was moving. <laughs> And he then was he was moving thing. from town to town. Them right? rascals hurt, don't they? Oh, oh goodness. goodness. Yeah, they ain't got no quit in them. No, mean. Mean-spirited rascals. <laughs> it felt good when I poured that gasoline down mean in there and lit it. Oh, no. listen, <laughs> listen, listen to them pop like popcorn. <laughs> they start flying out. <laughs> in a little way, it makes you feel like you won. <laughs> and this, this, I keep getting emails that are related to what we're talking about. This, this, this was from a few days ago. Donnie sent in... Uh, a thing about side drag racing because he always says he's going to. When will you mark off drag racing from your bucket list? He, oh, it's been marked. Well, off. He did it with tanks. How much I've cooler been, can you get? Hey, Donnie? yeah, but hey, I've been told. Okay, he wants in top want, few. I want one of them uh, rail cars, mm. rail cars. and okay. we got access to. But one. I've told, and we've got access to one. But I've been told because I've had a heart attack and open heart surgery. <laughs> Okay, then the things pull about five Gs. Five Gs, boys. So, hey, I might Last want, I, I may, if the doctor tell me, you got this and you're going out, you're fixing to die, then I may go race it at rail car. All right. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to <laughs> we'll break. throw flowers when he's I'm going to try to break the current <laughs> record for how much speed it is. For an old man or for anybody? Oh, for anybody. I'm trying to. Re- I'm gonna try to set it. He gonna record. go hop in there with John Force and see what happens. Well, and and then Donnie threw at the end. He, he's also curious of the best way to prepare pork chop. Pork chop. Hey, hey, number why, one. While he's got your attention. <laughs> Donnie no, no. got my attention with drag yeah. racing. Okay, here you and go. And now he needs to know about pork chops. Now chop. you got it about pork chops. Okay, number one rule. Okay, first you got to go to the butcher. Okay, because hey, what you want to tell him is you do not want thick pork chops. I like a breakfast chop. You want breakfast thin, thin pork chops, and then you fry them where they're crispy. I've always wanted to and open a restaurant. Go on with it. That was pork instead of chicken. So pork nuggets, pork, pork chops, fillet. just everything deep fried. Pork on a stick. Just pork everywhere. Mm, right. I'd eat there. He'd make a good politician because they're full of pork. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought they were full of something else. Right. I don't even know. No, what that they're means. full of pork. <laughs> but fat and then pork. our last question of the day, which is I'm really curious about size answer, is from Michael in Jacksonville, Florida. He Go loves Jags. the podcast and he just wanted to know what our first jobs were. My first job was hauling hay. Hauling hay. At the young age of twelve years old. That was that for your right. parents? That story checks no. out. No. No. That was uh, Jim. Jim Bailey hired me. Talk How much to did Jim you make? Bailey. Huh? How much did you make? Fifty cents an hour. Fifty cents an hour. And that was too much. I, I stacked it. The the owner, Jim Bailey, he would throw thirty bales on. Then me and him both would stack them. Okay, and we had a uh, uh, international. Put it in grandma. He would jump out. It. Uh, uh, <laughs> throw 30, 30 bales on it and we shut it off throw them stack them then crank it back up get another it 30 bales when we got 150 okay and that'd be what I think nine yeah nine stacks nine stacks yeah so then we'd rope her down you know and head to rope where we were selling it there Arkansas Texas wherever and then unload it and unload it put it in the barn Fifty cents an hour. So I'm gonna date myself when I tell you my first job it's a was that st- store that's not open anymore. Blockbuster. Howard Griffin, Land of Toys, loads of fun for girls and boys. Bring the kids and look around. The greatest toy deal in the town. Howard Griffin. You, Howard Griffin. you only heard that a few times in there, yeah. didn't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> you worked at the toy store? Yeah. That's right. cool. What section? All sections, mostly warehouse though. 
They didn't let you up there at the cashier? No. No, no he's off that what, bag. I, yeah. what, there was a height requirement. He got oh, that Mustang boy. in the back, I, which is Height requirement, boy, got him. Phil was back there riding a big wheel, son. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, know, oh, you never did work for Toys for Us? <laughs> <laughs> no. You should have moved okay. on to a career in the in the larger chains. <laughs> That's That's for us. Right. <laughs> he had to. I like he had to jingle now. He, oh yeah, I got uh, the jingle. He's a company man. Yeah. Nobody ever accused him of not being that. that. I was mowing grass. That was my first job. I guess Cutting I was gonna, grass slash landscaping. My first job. Oh, where I like had to turn in my social security number. I was a janitor, glorified janitor at a gym, where I cleaned the. That may have been rooms. my first job. Mowing grass? Yeah. But, hey. Because I used to mow. Well, mine wasn't a side job. I mean, it was full time during the summer right. when I was in high school. So my uncle was paying. My uncle lived beside my mom and dad, and he was paying some old boy $25 an hour to bush hog. Because if you got a tractor, yeah. you can make some money. Yeah. So my dad saw it and said, oh, John David can do better. I was like 13. And so my dad got me a job for $15 an hour bush hogging which is more than 50 cents, but I had to pay my dad like $5 an hour to use his stuff. Mm, oh, child labor. Had some rent. Oh, yeah. I had I had to rent the equipment from my dad. <laughs> hey, he cut you a good hey. rate at only $5 yeah. an hour. Yeah, hey. So, That's I mean, cheap. Yeah, he did I, made a, I make good, good money in junior high and Because if high I'd school. have been my tractor, I'd have had that rate flipped. Right. Yeah, he would have made the money and yeah. I wouldn't. I'd have got $10 an hour. You'd have got 5 because all you do is sitting there steering. But, hey, I was good on him for making you work. Hey, I yeah. think that's lost on a lot of people. Like, business. A lot yeah, of kids. Business, business I, mowing yards is important. Oh, man. Oh, that's okay. where you learn all the different species of things mm -hmm. that will sting you. <laughs> yeah. Because you realize some of them hurt way worse than other ones. Uh-huh. And you, you know by the sting, you're like, yeah, that's a red wasp, but it ain't too bad. You were talking about that. And up. then you're like, oh, that's a guinea wasp. That's going to hurt a little more. Yeah. And then they just keep on. Oh, <laughs> man. I was watching a guy mow his yard one day. That's what you do for fun? No, 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 no. <laughs> At no, his no, age, look, yeah. Look, and there was a tree, and when he'd come to that tree, he had some low hanging limb. Uh oh. He'd always duck, go on, go, you know. Yeah. Well, he keeps, you know, I had to look over there, and I said, ooh, what, that ain't good. And I'll try to get his attention. Because, hey, about that big around purple tail, wall staff, solid, solid purple. How do we get back on walls? And look, he happened to hit it. Bad, bad news. Bad like deal. he said, you talking about a man moving. Hey, he yeah. outrun the lawnmower. Yeah. Yeah, you feel he like. He bailed off of it. And look, all it was, all you seen was just a purple haze. Yeah. Purple haze. You know, as as uh, Prince would say, a purple haze following this dude Garfield? into the house. I tell you, one of my, mm, <laughs> my, one of my worst ones was I hit one like that in a hollow stump fishing. Ooh. Didn't know they's in there. Bad news. Yeah. I, I tried to be away. I tried to be oh. Jesus, son. Huh? I was trying to he walk on that water. water, but that didn't happen. No, they ate me up. Yeah. What, did you yeah. jump in the water? Fire? Yeah, I, I did. I come up on the other side of the boat, and they was all sitting on my boat, and I just sat there and kind of held on the edge of the boat for a while <laughs> till they got settled back <laughs> down. Right, till they went back over the I always had an escape plan. You got to be watching when you go to a lake that's got a lot of cypress trees and buckbrush. Yeah, because. But that Whoa. dead timbers will get you because yeah. you don't see them inside them holes in there. Like we had that one where we about got ate up by honeybees. Oh no no yeah that you was know? so cool. At least you can see the honey coming out of yeah. that one. Yeah. But they'll get you. Old dead tree. Look and you look up there and just you know, the, the honey's dripping out of this thing. But let me tell you, if we'd have hit that thing with oh, a boat, yeah. we'd have got yeah. ate up too. And, and we came close to bumping it. Yeah. Them, whoa 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 whoa. Back Did y'all steal the honey? No, no, we should have. No, it's too high up there. I wasn't yeah. getting up there. Hold he on. wasn't getting right. up there, boys. Yep. But well, anyway, I, you want to send us home? You got a verse for oh, us? Oh, I have a good friend named Phil McMillan oh, who Phil. texted me a verse that he wanted me to read because he said his eyes aren't what they used to be. Oh, but okay. Proverbs 12, verse 27, the lazy do not roast any game, but the diligent feed on the riches of the hunt. That's from my boy Doug in Oklahoma. Thank you, Doug. Doug yeah. from Oklahoma sent that one in. Read that again. <laughs> the <laughs> lazy, like those that don't mow, do not roast any game, but the diligent feed on the riches of the hunt. Oh, that's good. I like it. He yeah. likes it. The lazy. Okay. They don't. Roast in other words, them. the lazy don't eat, boys. Lazy don't eat, boys. Don't work, you hey, don't eat. Hey, that's right. You don't work, you don't eat. Bing, right. bing. 
We're out. We'll and see that's y'all from next the time. Almighty. Amen. We'll see y'all next time right here yeah. in the Duck Call Room.